Welcome to the National Center for Electron Microscopy, a facility at the Molecular Foundry. Right now, the way that we run electron microscopes, we run them such that we throw away a lot of the scattered electrons because our detectors are too slow. So we decided to go to the absolute extreme and just try to capture every electron, try to capture all the scattered electrons we can and maximize the signal and noise. It means you get the most out of your sample before you essentially eventually destroy it. The last generation of detectors that was designed here has really come to revolutionize the way we use electron microscopes for biology. This new set of detectors has a lot of implications for how we will study samples in material science. Our group has been working for some time on making uh, better detectors for microscopies, and that includes electron microscopy. What we're doing is making a different kind of detector that records a lot more information because instead of just recording a single intensity at every scan point, it takes another picture. And that will take an image 100,000 times per second. The data is digitized in the camera head and transferred over about 100 fiber optic connections to the data acquisition system. In the data acquisition system, the four field programmable gate arrays organize the data into images and transfer it onto the network. This detector will generate an enormous amount of data. It's equivalent to watching about 60,000 HD movies simultaneously. So, how do we collect, analyze, and store all of this data? The detector is directly connected to Berkeley Lab's supercomputer called Cori, over 96 optical links that are about a kilometer long. The supercomputer will load all of the data and analyze it in about 20 seconds in order to provide feedback to the scientist at the microscope to tell whether the experiment was successful or not. With conventional electron microscopy, we can now see down to atomic resolution. But if you want to measure atomic scale properties, like say the separation of atoms, you have to be able to see all of those atoms in the field of view. What this new camera will allow us to do is make measurements on atomic scale properties, but over much larger fields of view. This detector has a really unique geometry and it's also very fast. And what's great about these two things combined is it gives you the ability to perform experiments that might be more difficult more quickly. So the reason you might want to perform one of these more complicated experiments would be to measure the positions of light elements, particularly in the materials that might be really sensitive to the electron beam, like lithium in a battery material. And ideally, you would be able to also precisely measure positions of heavy elements in that same material. For the field of dynamic electron microscopy or looking at materials with atomic resolution, it's a whole new time regime and it's really exciting just to be able to try to run the same experiments we've been doing for years, but just run them orders of magnitude faster.